hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a list view or the tree view in odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about introduction of odoo views please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the wablance channel under the home screen you can see odoo 1718 development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist by the way if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist of the odoo development tutorial and rest are the topic wise playlist available all right so let's back to our main topic guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions so let's say we already created a lot of list views right but in this topic i'm going to show you in depth views the different types of views we can create and what is the purpose plus what is the extra features we can also add in the list view right here in the student profile if i'm going to the hobby list you can see here it will automatically redirect to the form view right there is no list view available here so let's create a list view for this hobby right now here i'm going to the custom add-ons student uh, views and you can see here hobby underscore view dot xml file you can see here the form view is available the windows action is available and the menu is also available right now you don't need to remember everything because i will also give you the in depth those views and the purpose right now here the so first thing is uh, you already noticed in our last few sessions we already talked about how to create the records right so same way we are also trying to implement here we are just trying to create a simple record okay you have to remember that we are just trying to create records not the views okay why because i will show you after a while right with the reason so let's say record id and model right so this is the tag we must have to use right here in the model we must have to use ir ui dot view so this is the model name we have to create the record okay here simple i'm going to add a unique name which is let's say wb dot hobby list view okay and here i'm using a sub tag name which is the name this is the field name right and here i'm using like it's a wb dot hobby dot list dot view here i have to use model which what is the model name let's say wb dot hobby that the model name by the way if you don't know and you, you are confused you can go to here in the models right you can search that name You can see this underscore name whatsoever the name we provided right we must have to provide here in under this model field right and simple here we have to use arch that means architecture and what is the type the type is the xml right and simple here we can mention the field name right now you can see here only we have a name by default it's a one field only right but if you guys remember our odoo automatically creates a five to six different types of fields right so those we can also add here so let's a field name and this name field right i'm using like this and here i'm i am using here id then after i'm using here who created right and when this record is created so let's say that like this way so the simple thing is we are just trying to create a records only okay under this model ir ui view this is the id we must have to provide unique in this module only okay then after the name what is the name so we have to provide any of the name okay in like uh, you can remember one short name let's say whatsoever you provide here you can also mention here with the dot not the underscore that is the basic standard odoo is following so that's why we are also following the same one or else you can also provide here anything any single name that is also fine 
right after that the model so the model is the field under this irui view right and this is the field name and we must have to provide here uh, what is the model name we have to provide okay so we have to use here our module name then after the what is the architecture so that architecture field we have to provide as a arch the type as a new attribute we must have to use xml or else it won't be work then after in this tag we have to provide sub tags you can see here the field again we have to also provide here the same one the field like this but here the main thing is and i forgot which is the list like this so under this architecture field we must have to provide the view type okay which type of view is so i have to provide here list why i'm using here list because i'm using odoo 18 guys if you are using older version all right like below 18 version so here it should be as a tree so that is the main difference between odoo version 18 and the lower version in case the upcoming version like in odoo 19 20 21 now ongoing versions now it's uses list only right so that's why i'm using here the list and under the list we must have to mention here the fields which we need to display in the list view that's it okay after this list view this record we created right so under this windows action so you can see this is the windows action here in this view mode we must have to mention here the list okay that's it after that we have to upgrade this module why we need to upgrade module because this module already installed so installed module we cannot reinstall right so that's why there is one more option is available which is upgrade so this one now i will try to upgrade the module all right so it's installed now let's see the student going to the hobby list and boom you can see here the id the created by user and when this record is created and you can see reading writing at the blank right so let's say i can use here meditation okay you can also use let's say yoga right kung fu like this so you can see right now i am logged in as a michelle admin so that's why you can see these two records having a who created the michelle admin created and when this record is created this that and time right so like this way you can create the records by the way i told you we just created the records right so you can see here going to the settings right in the general settings we can active the developer mode so let's say do the developer mode i'm going to the technical and here you can see the views and now by the way you can just copy this id and paste here and now you can see this is the record we created right you can see this one you can see here this view type right it's a list then after the name as i told you we can add any name right here this ir ui view this is the record we created that's it and after that once you click to this menu this menu right so it will call this menu this menu having an action so this is the action of this windows action right and this windows action automatically call in the framework level i'm just trying to explain you the framework logic how it will work so it will find this one and after it will says okay so we are using this model and which mod first i have to display i mean the view i have to display so it says here the list and then after the form okay so that's why it will call the it will open the list view if in case the list view is available here right it's created in the record i mean here 
sorry not here but let's say let me duplicate the tag settings view right uh, let's say wb dot hobby so you can see list view and the form view both is available right uh, let's ignore this one as of now so this one you can see right here the record is created that means it will first open this list view so you can see here click right and once you click to any of the record it will automatically open the form view why it is open to form view because it mentioned here we have to also if you remember guys we can also use the calendar right by what then after the map the graph right so those are we will cover in our later coming sessions but right now you have to focus in the list view only so this is the basic session of how to create a list view now our upcoming session is how to create records from this list view only so once i click to new right it will redirect to the form view but we don't need to open the form view we can directly add it or let's say add in the list view only so that is our upcoming session all right so if you still have any doubt related to this list view please comment below and see you in our next session